What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing Belly Drum Slush Rush Sea Titan for Ranked Regulation H. Now, when it comes to this team, it's got a lot of different interactions, or I should say combos. You got Espeth, right, and Indeedee. You got Nine Tills and Sea Titan. And on top of that, you got Indeedee and Drift Boom. So, lots of different ways to get some wins. Hopefully, I get to showcase this team to its fullest potential. But let's start off with C Titan and talk about this Pokemon a little bit more. It's got Slush Rush as its ability, doubling its speed in the snow. It's got the Citrus Berry to pair up with Belly Drum, which you can max your attack stat out with. You got Ice Hole Crash, you got Liquidation, you got Protect with the Water Terror type. Super excited to be using this Pokemon. Like I mentioned already, our Snow Setter is going to be a low on Nine Tails, just a solid Pokemon all around. Really fast, can hit decently hard, and it can set up Aurora Veil. What more can you want? We got Espathra and Indeedee in our first two slots. Espathra, really powerful, especially with the Life Orb and Speed Boost as ability. It's got Expanded Force, so you know where we're going with this. Pair it up next to Indeedee, set the Psychic Terrain, just spam Expanded Force and pretty much just win the game. Our final two Pokemon going to be Rotom Heat and Driftblim. Driftblim's got that Psychic Seeds with Unburden to pair up with Indeedee. It's got Tailwind, it's got Weather Ball, it's got Haze, and it's got Protect. And Rotom is just a solid special attacker all across the board with Nasty Plot, Overheat, and Thunderbolt. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing the Slush Rush C Titan team. First match on its way, and we are going up against a pretty solid team for Regulation H. They got Pelipper, they got Rillaboom, they got Armor Rouge, Primarina, Ursaluna, and last but not least, they got Guard Chop. So, one thing I do notice is they have rain. So, we're going to have to watch out for rain and hopefully just like you know, win the weather war. But I think going in with, like, Indeedee alongside with possibly Sea Titan is just a great call for us. Because Indeedee should be slower than Rollaboom, which means our terrain should get out there. Ooh, I don't know, 104. We're still going to give this a try. We got Follow Me, if not. So I kind of want to Follow Me, maybe set, set up Belly Drum, and then get out the snow, and then get out Espathra and Indeedee for late game. That is something I really do like. And I really do like the Espathra's name, Roadrunner. Just a perfect name for s -Path. Perfect name for that Pokemon. I love it. But I wonder who they're going to lead here. Again, if they lead Rillaboom, I hope they don't lead Rillaboom. But if they do, I'm hoping Indeedee is slower just so we can get off that terrain. Um, again, we do have a Jack Pack, which is really nice for us. But we'll see. We'll see. A Jack Pack works well. <clears throat> we'll see what they want to do here. I feel like they got a few different options here. They could try to set up Trick him with like Armor Rouge. That can get real ugly, especially if they want to go in like Ursaluna. So if they do end up leading Armor Rouge, what's my plan here? If they lead Armor Rouge, that could be ugly. Okay, we're just going to hope that they don't lead Armor Rouge. Because if they lead Armor Rouge, they can easily just set up Trick Room. Or I can maybe just like pop Trick Room with Ndidi. Try to cancel it. Let's see. Let's see uh, who they end up leading first and foremost. So how comes... Oh, dude, the two I was kind of worried about. <laughs> the two I was worried about. Can Grass Train come out here first? Let's go. Okay, so at least we get terrain. No first turn priority is allowed. Do we think they pop trick room, Mr. Question? There's a possibility that they do pop trick room. There is a possibility. But I'm just gonna go belly drum here, turn one. Um, I think your speed is actually like mediocre without slush rush. Yeah, 85 actually works pretty well. So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna go into a uh a what's it called? A follow me here. We're not gonna thrash slash just yet. We're not going to Terrasilize. So follow me, gonna pop out here. Uh, there's a chance that he is rocking Heat Wave, but I'm kind of hoping it's more so like Armor Cannon than Heat Wave. That would definitely be better for us. So follow me, looking to go for Belly Drum. If they don't go for Trick Room, we can swap into Slush Rush if we want to. Um, if they do, we be fine, but he's just gonna end up withdrawing Rollboom, saving it for later. So Rollboom with the withdrawal, I think Ursula is gonna come out here and they're gonna pop Trick Room, right? No, Pre Marina. I'm curious. Are you on Trick Room? What, what, what you call it? Your Trick Room, Armor Cannon, maybe Expanded Force. Meteor Beam's gonna launch. That's fine. The Meteor Beam comes out here. Um, and my next play is probably just go into Water Terror Liquidation. We're gonna actually survive that. Belly Drum's gonna fly here. Belly Drum. So one thing I am gonna need is going to be Terrain Control. For sure. So I kind of want to keep Indeedee here. I think Terrasalizing uh, Satite in here and swapping out Indeedee and maybe just Liquidation hit in here, especially because he's plus one, is definitely a call. Because then I can get Terrain Control, I can get Speed right now, 
We're gonna want to rain, especially with Espathra late game. We're going for it. So Belly Drum set up. They're, they're definitely si sitting here like shivering right now. Like, oh god, what am I gonna do? I know Rillaboom could be annoying, especially with Terrain. But I doubt they swap the armors or Terrastalize it. Looking at Satayan, because it's probably Grass Terra. If you think about it, it's probably Grass Terra. So they're probably sitting there like, oh, if I go Grass Terra, then he could just like Icicle Crash me. Take me out, use an Ice move. But we're going right into Ninetales here. I would think that they would probably have Pelipper as well. So I can probably guess their whole team. And we're going to hit this Terra button. So Liquidation, ready to fly. And I know Liquidation will KO regardless. But I like the Terra type of water here. Especially up against this, uh... This Primarina, who could be throwing a Hyper Voice across the board. So Protect's gonna come out from Primarina. Oh, baby. Show me no Protect from Armors, and we're chilling. Let's go. See you later, Armors. So Armors is gonna get absolutely dumped on here. And they could bring out... If they have Pelipper, now would be the time to bring out Pelipper. If they have Pelipper, now would be the time to bring out Pelipper. And if they do, I mean... A low on Ninetales could outspeed and just Encore this, uh... Primarina. That's not a bad call. That would not be a bad call. Yeah, I can just encore that thing into protect and kind of just start targeting down this right slot. A lot of possibilities for us. I wonder if they do have Pelper or not. Could be Robin here. It's gonna be Robin. So Robin's gonna fly out here. We're just gonna send our terrain right back out here. And we're just gonna go for an ISO crash and look to just KO Robin. I feel like they have to terrestrialize here. I feel like they have to terrestrialize. I'm still just gonna go for an ice of crash. I mean, stab plus six. It's just gonna hit hard. So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna swap it to Indeedy. Indeedy dies, Indeedy dies. No big deal. Right? Yeah, I like this call. Maybe I should have protected and set up a war veil. Ooh, that should have been the play. That definitely should have been the play. I should have protected and set up a war veil. That hands down should have been, been the play. Hands down should have been the play. But we're going to get some terrain back here. Um, I I would think that they would want to terrestrialize here. I was going to send a liquidation in case of fire terror. But I mean, they're not even terrestrialized. So Ice Silver Crash is going to finish off Roll Boom. Bye bye. Get it on out here. Right? They didn't use Terra. No, because we dumped on armors with liquidation. We did that. And you got Haze. How dare you? You got Haze this whole time. You should have used Haze last turn. You should have used Haze last turn. So now I'm sitting here, even on the attack board, but we got a lot of value out of our Pokemon. They can't change up terrain, so Espathor can really just, you know, utilize it a lot. So I'm just going to go into a liquidation here. I think we're going to see a Terra for Garchomp to kind of get rid of its ice weakness right now. And if I can, do I just go Helping Hand? I think I just go Follow Me more so than anything. Could be an EQ call, like a Protect EQ. I'm just gonna follow me. I want Indeedee to die out here just so I can get out Espathra, potentially get a speed boost, and then just expand it for us to win this game. Wow, Haze coming out of here. My Titan was bumping. He was bumping. Plus six on attack, just launching attacks left and right. Would have been smarter for him to just like protect and kind of haze earlier in the game, but I don't know. I mean, it's working out better for us. So out comes a Terror type. Saw this one coming. Guard shot. What you got here? What you got here? So we're going for water move. Fire. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Liquidation just gonna... Actually, I forget. We're not plus six anymore. How much damage... Liquidation might still be able to KO. Sea Titan hits hard. And it has the water terror. And it has the water terror. Hold on. How much damage is doing? That'd be awesome if it KOs. So close yet so far. So Rough Skin's gonna take a little bit of damage for us. Um, EQ is gonna fly. He's gonna do damage to Primarina. And so Titan's gonna be able to soak. But so Titan's gonna also die to this Moon Blast, right? Hyper Voice. Can you soak this? No shot. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. So now it turns to a 2v2. We got S Panther. We have terrain. All I gotta do is pretty much just protect, wait for one speed boost, and just win this game, right? Right? Is that a correct statement to make? Is that a correct statement to make? I would think it is, right? How fast are you, Espathra? Now you're gonna risk it. Like, I mean, just a simple protect and take expanded force just wins this game. We got three turns left in terrain. 
yeah, and you know, yeah, it's 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 simple for us. It's simple. It's very simple for us. You're 155. Garchomp's probably saw it speeding you a little bit. So yeah, just a simple protect into the. Uh, let's just double protect. Let's just double protect. Make life a bit easier. As I say, we could launch a Blizzard, but the double protect works better for us. So we're just gonna double protect out here. Um, Espanto is gonna get the speed boost, making it faster than both these Pokemon. And then I can just drop an Expanded Force, win the game. This was a great match for us. And you just use the Protect on, on the Primarina side. You going for EQ again? Yeah, you're launching EQs. It might be Choice in EQ. Nah, no shot. No shot, you're Choice in EQ. No shot, you're Choice Band Garchomp. But it's game over. Thanks for playing. Jeans prevailing in match number one. So Titan popping belly drums, ripping after it. And then we played the terrain perfectly, kind of countering the roll boom. Eventually getting out the Sis Path or dropping Expanded Force to win the game. And I'll follow through with a Blizzard because that's that's the best I can do right now. That's the best I can do. But yeah, really good game for us. Hot start. Great first match for today's video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. There's the Expanded Force. Like I said, we would outspeed. And there's a double KO. So guys, first match went perfectly. We're hopping into our second match. Looking to go back to back here. And something I noticed is no weather control. So we could bring Satitan and Alola Ninetales if we really want to, which wouldn't be bad. I mean, I could just go follow me into Satite and Belly Drum and then get out Ninetales and maybe set up a Roar Belt. That could work pretty well because Real Boom could be very annoying here. So, you know what? I'm going to go for the same thing. We're going to look to pop Belly Drum here. We are going to look to pop Belly Drum. I just think it works out perfectly fine for us. And I like it a lot. And we're just going to bring S Panther again because obviously S Panther is just an absolute stud. An absolute stud. Especially if we're winning the weather, or not weather war, the uh, terrain war. Two different wars. Um, S Panther just, it just kills it. It just kills it. So they're definitely going to want to bring Roller Boom. They're definitely going to want to bring, uh... I thought they had a weather Pokemon. No, they don't have a weather Pokemon. Alright. Yeah, they definitely want to bring Roller Boom. That's pretty much the only guaranteed Pokemon. Everybody else could not come. I don't know. A goal to go, Mouse Hold comes out here for the lead. This one is a little scarier for me. Um, I could go Water Terror. I might have to go Water Terror. And just Belly Jump Pop. Or I could, you know. What do I want to do here? Could be going for Pop Bomb. You know, we're just going to do this. We're just going to Terror Belly Jump. Terror Water Belly Jump. I should have honestly just like soaked up a shot here. And maybe just protect C Titan just so its special attack will drop. But there is an off chance that he sets up Belly Drum. Or not Belly Drum, uh, Nasty Plot. So we're going to Terrasalize our C Titan. Look to pop Belly Drum again. Belly Drum's fun. I love using Belly Drum. So we're going for Follow Me. And they're going to go for Make It Rain flying out here. C Titan actually takes a good chunk of damage. It looks like Mousehold's picking up a KO here. I know he's taunting me. That's fine. But he ends up taunting me. Belly Drum gonna launch. And we're gonna lose our C Titan this next turn. But we're gonna we're not gonna go out without a without a KO. We're not gonna go out without a KO. Sister Sparrow gonna come out here. Um Hmm. I could go slush rush and I could just swap into Nine Tails, which I think I'm gonna do. Swap into Nine Tails. Go for liquidation for the KO. Or should I just go Ice and Crash? Liquidation's better, especially if you don't go for follow me. So we're gonna go for liquidation plus six. We're really hoping that follow me does come out here from their mouse hold. Because if that's the case, you get off and make it rain and you most likely pick up a double KO. So yeah. Hoping for no follow me. Chance our follow me is coming into play. Be real tough news for us. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Man. Little mouse hole doing me dirty. Liquidation is gonna fly. I'm just gonna KO this mouse hole. Unless you're focused, Sash. I doubt your Sash, though. Yeah, you're gone. See you later. We get rid of you. Rocky Home is gonna take some damage, and here comes the double KO. Here comes the double KO. So, two KOs flying, and now we got a slight problem here. Now we got a slight problem. Do they have Roll They have to have Roll They have to have Roll They have to. They have to have Roll Boom. They have to have Roll Boom, and we just get massacred here. Massacred. So I'm gonna go here. If they don't have Roll Boom, we actually have a shot, because, you know. 
helping hand expanded force could get the work done but they have to bring Robo. that's like the only guaranteed pokemon i would think they would have let's see if they're gonna set terrain now though yo ursaluna bear hold up just give me a chance 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 hold up hold up we're going helping hand expanded force here and we're gonna attack this it's ursaluna slot i feel like they have to have Rollaboom. That's our last Pokemon. I'd be super surprised if not. Super surprised. Yeah, there's the withdrawal. There it is. There he, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Tor hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. No Rillaboom. Hold up. Helping hand, expanding force, life orb, stab. Hold up. Hold the phone. Helping hand, come on now. <laughs> Hold up. Should give me a chance. I know Taurus is dead. Ursaluna? Oh, not dead. Not dead. I know we're going to outspeed. But we got to be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. It's Hyper Boys. It's Panther. I need you soaking. Yeah, but you're not KO and Golden Go. 9 HP. If one of them protects its game. Plus, we can't KO this. Uh, You could have Vacuum Wave as well. Actually, you can't use it, though. You can't use it, though. Hold up. I don't think we're KOing this uh, Golden Go with a Psychic Move. It's just not happening. Unless we get an Ultra Mega Crit. It'd be awesome. It'd be awesome. But hold up. Just give me a chance, though. Give me a chance. We're going to send it. We're going to send it. Vacuum Wave. Oh. Oh, I'm dying in life orb, so I, I would need to KO this gold to go here. Yeah, not, not even half damage. Well, at least we tried. Came closer than we thought. No roll boom is crazy. We, we, we almost actually won that game. We actually almost won that game. Life orb, at least we go out on our own terms. GG to our opponent. Let's go hop into our third and final. So guys, time for our third and final match. And we got ourselves a good sign here. They got a little nine tails, which means it's gonna snow all day. We're having a snow day in the third and final match. Going up against Magmar, alongside with Amoongus, they got Dragonite, they got King Gambit, and last but not least, Rabombi. A low-key solid Pokemon that's actually pretty strong. Do I wanna go into Sea Titan here? I'm not too sure. I could just go, you know, here and not set Belly Drum. Just double up with weather. It's something I actually kinda like. So I'm going to end up doing that. And I just think we bring in the same squad all day today. I really do like this squad. The only problem is going to be King Gambit. I got to get rid of King Gambit. You know, we're just going to withdraw in Didi. I don't think we want in Didi. We're going to go with Easy Bake Oven over here. <laughs> with the Rotom Heat and bring in Espathra on soon. Because Espathra can honestly, you know, do work without the Psychic Train. It doesn't need it. It's got terrible ass fighting, which is actually great up against that, uh, that King Gambit. And I feel like if we just brought like the Psychic Pokemon with the Ice Pokemon, King Gambit would just just slaughter us, right? Steel and Dark? Yeah, no, we, we can't do that. So we're going to replace the Ndidi with the Easy Bake Oven. And I think that gives us a little bit more value here, which I like. Because you got Overheat to kind of deal with the Ninetales, deal with the King Gambit, deal with the Moongus, and even the Rabambi. So it works out well. You got Thunderbolt as well. I just think, I just think Rotom's a great Pokemon. This is a great Pokemon all around, especially with the Safety Goggles. Spore with Amoongus? Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. So if I feel threatened by Spore, I am going to swap into my boy. I'm going to swap in the road time and get some work done. So third and final match on its way. First match was awesome. Second match, we got ripped up a little bit, but but we almost came back. And now third and final match, looking for that winning record. They're going to end up throwing out King Gambo and Robombe. Robombizzle. A real question is, Alone Nine Tails, you should outspeed. I really don't care if you die out here. Unless... As long as you get off an Aurora Bell. So I'm going to go Aurora Bell here. And I am just going to go... Bum, 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 bum. Do I just go Protect here? Or do I just attack? I could Terrasilize and attack. Which I think is a good call for us. Yeah, I like it. Actually, hold up. Yeah, you know, I like it. I like it. We're going to attack this for Bombi with Ice Crash. Look at to set up this Aurora Belt could be huge for us, especially with a bulky Sea Titan. I know we're not Belly Drum in this match, but maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. I mean, we got Aurora Belt, so depending on what happens, because he, he can always just Iron Head this slot and maybe get like a flinch on Rabombi. 
and still be at full HP in a war bell. If we're still at full HP with a war bell, the only jump would be actually really good for us to pop. But for now, we're just gonna hit this tower button. And Moonblast going to launch into Sea Titan, and this thing does respectable damage. It really does. I said crash launches, and we do just as much damage to him. So now we got a War Belt off. We still have our Scissor Spray, which is good news, and I think Iron Head is just going to launch here. Is that a correct statement? Yep, into Sea Titan. That actually works out fine. That actually works out fine, because that triggers my berry. Nine Tails can pop Blizzards. I'm hoping Blizzard could just KO here, right? The Rabombi. I'm really hoping Blizzard could just KO. So I'm going to actually aim for that, and I'm just going to pop a Liquidation into this King Gambit slot. Let's see how we can do this one now. So not a bad turn for us. That's a big time Terra. Terra keeps Sea Titan alive. We get off a Roar Veil, which is massive. Plus, I can now get off a Blizzard, because I know a Lone Nine Tails isn't going to die out before it gets, before it attacks. So Moonblast going to launch. Liquidation going to fly here. Hoping that this Blizzard can just KO. Liquidation, how much damage are we doing? Hmm. That's not that good. Yeah, that's ugly. That's ugly damage. Blizzard launches. And one HP per Bombi, of course. Of course. And now I get Kowtow Queen. Lovely. I'm soaking, though. That's good news. That's good news. So we're going to drop another Blizzard. Um, simple Protect for us is definitely the call because Rabombi's out speeding. This little... What is it? Butterfly? Is this thing a butterfly? What, what even is it? Rabombi, let me see you again. I don't even know. It's like a pixie butterfly. It's like a mythical butterfly. This thing's just out speeding me in while I'm slush rushing. So big time protect pops out from RC Titan. If I had to guess, the moon bus has to be flying in C Titan. Going for sucker punch. Okay, so he's doing a little switch up here. Pop. I hate Palm Puff, man. I'm gonna keep King Gambit alive a little bit longer. A lot bit longer. Boys gonna launch. Give me a freeze. Give me a freezy pop. Give me a freezy pop. We gotta crit onto the Rabombi just to rub it in. And no freezy pop. We really want a freezy pop. We really want a freezy pop. So if I had to guess, I mean, he's probably going for another sucker punch. Dragonite is going to launch here. So Dragonite's going to come out here. Um, oh, it's ugly. I'm going to go into Blizzard here, though. Maybe he does a Sucker Punch. I'd rather not swap. I'd rather see Titan just die out here. So I'm going to go for Blizzard. I'm going to double down with Icicle Crash. Um, I mean, if he doesn't try to slice Dragonite, I'm going to withdraw Dragonite. So he's going to keep his Terror type. He going into from here. This King Gambit's just a pain, dude. Really, his Magmar is going to come out here. Icicle Crash launches. That's a, that's a great call on their end. That's a real good call on their end. And Blizzard launches here as well. Can I get some Freezy Pops? I'm trying to get some Freezy Pops out here. No Freeze Pops. Contact Leap launches. Um... The problem here is follow me, Magmar. It's such a problem. It's such a problem right now. It's such a problem. I mean, I got safety goggles, but I can't launch an overheat. Do we want to go as Panthra and just look for damage here? I think Kowtow Cleave just KOs us. Like, that's, that's, that's the main problem here. That's the main threat. This King Gambit's such a pain. Could just go like nasty pot here. I think I am gonna nasty pot up. Especially in a war bill. I think we're gonna go for the nasty pot. Kinda have to. Kinda have to. And I'm just gonna launch a blizzard. We're hoping for freezy pops pretty much. So I'd love to go for an overheat here, but you can either trash or follow me, so it's just not the play. So I'm just gonna nasty pot here. This is this is not looking good for us. This is not looking good for us. No bueno. This King Game is just a pain. There's the follow me. Out and about. Can you go for my Nine Tails instead of my Rotom? That's really what I'm hoping here. Blizzard is gonna launch. Or can I finally get a Freezy Pop? Can I get a Freezy Pop? No, we just we just can't get Freezy Pops today. All I want was was one on the King Gambit. King Gambit is gonna launch, go after this Rotom. He's playing it smart here. We actually soak decently well, which is really good. Snow is gone. We have a war belt for a couple more turns. Um that could just be a turn for us to hard swap, because follow me's gotta come out here. We could save the Nine Tails. Yeah, so I'm gonna go Espathra. 
And I'm gonna rip a Thunderbolt. I'm gonna try to go into King Gambit, but if they go for follow me, they go for follow me. I'd rather go for an overheat into the King Gambit, but we can't. We just simply can't. Because again, if they go overheat and then it's just like no damage, I'd rather them go for follow me and still take some damage with this Thunderbolt. That'd be good for us. So I think he wants to go for Kowtow Cleave into Rotom this turn. And then just like try Sucker Punching it the next turn. That's where I really think uh, their head's at. I'm going to swap Ninetales just so we can reset the snow later and get Blizzard flying. Because we know he has a Dragon type. I get to finally bring out Espathra. The follow me comes out here. There's no way you're going for Kowtow Cleave into the Espathra slot. Thunderbolt is going to launch here. How much damage are we doing? Not enough. And Kowtow Cleave is launching. So, like I said, he definitely wants to go for that Sucker Punch. He's definitely looking for that Sucker Punch. I feel like you have to be looking for that Sucker Punch. I'm just going to go Luma Crash to KO you and just protect you. At that point, you can have East Speed. Oh, man. I got to protect Rotom. I have to protect Rotom. I have to. Oh, man. Dude, King Gam is just an absolute pain. There's the Sucker Punch. Good call on Aran. I should have set up another Nasty Plot. That's what I should have done. I should have set up another Nasty Plot. But Luma Crash gonna pick up KO. Dragonite's gonna come out here. Um, I don't really know what the play is here. What's the play call? Because now this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he wants to go for Kowtow Cleave. Man, we should have saved our Terror for us path through with fighting. Because now I think he wants to go Kowtow Cleave into Espathra and East Speed into Rotom. I'm going to protect Espathra this turn. I'm going to swap Rotom. I know I'm nasty pot it. I know I'm nasty pot it, but I feel like right now. Our place to just do this. You could just be going for Sucker Punch into Espathra. I don't really think this out, but yeah, if I had to guess, it's East Speed Flying. Alongside with Kowtow Cleave into the other slot. I'm gonna go into this. I still have a War Bell. I think this might be my last turn of War Bell. There's the East Speed. Let me soak decently well. Kowtow Cleave launches. So the reads were correct. Um, they still have Terra, and I think now's the time that they send it. And there goes a War Bell. Yeah, if they, I mean, if they send... I just have to attack you. I have to attack you, and I have to go for a blizzard. It's just a must. It's just a must, and I think normal terror comes out here and just wins the game. No roar bell, East Speed KOs. So we put up a fight here. If they do what I'm thinking, which they they, they, they gotta be. I was like, I could have just protected the Ninetales, but I think we just have to attack and hope that they go for a misplay. That's really where I'm at. We, we have to hope that they're they're in their own heads. Sometimes I can win games. You just play it simple and just hope that they, they make a mistake here too. See, they think I'm protecting. I'm able to soak this. I'm able to soak this. Lumina Crash flies out here. Hold up. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Special defense dropping. Blizzard should KO. Espanther, you're still alive, aren't you? Cool. Yeah, Blizzard's going to KO the Dragonite. Hold up. Give me a Freezy Pop now. Now I want a Freezy Pop. And you're going to double down on Espanther. Then you're going to KO the Ninetales. Hold up. The problem here is Sucker Punch. It really is. They still have Terra, though. They still have Terra. They still have Terra. That's really where we're sitting in a weird spot at. Oh, man. I kind of have to just hope that they Terrasalize and then we can, like, KO with Lumina Crash. Or expanded force. They're both gonna do the same damage. Um I'm gonna go for it. Do you think he goes for Sucker Punch? I think he terrestrializes it like fire or even I'ma actually say he thinks we're protecting here. Because we did it earlier. We did do that earlier. I'm gonna go for overheat. Just send it. I'm just gonna send it. Out comes our terror type. Is it dark? What is it? What you got? Is it fire? What are you doing here? It's straight dark. 
There is a chance that he doesn't sucker punch us because we protected last turn. So he goes to the Dark Terror, just get rid of his Steel Weakness. And he's not going- yo, he's not going for Sucker Punch here. Obi, can you KO? I don't think you can. This thing's too bulky. Man, we put up a good fight this match. We put up a great fight this match. Great fight. So we thought I was protecting there. That was just a perfect- oh no, you didn't. You didn't. Now you go for Sucker Punch. Wow, we could've just went for... For what's it called? Terror Blast. I wonder if that would've did enough damage. I don't think it would've. I don't know, that would've been close. That would've been close, but GG's sort of opponent. So we just protect again. See what they're- see what they're rocking with. See what they're going for. See what they're going- it's gotta be Sucker Punch. These guys spam Sucker Punch for the win here, right? Yeah. I got a plan. We're gonna we're gonna try to read mind games here. I'm gonna try to read mind games here. I'm just gonna spam another protect. <laughs> Hold up, we're gonna we're gonna protect again. We're gonna protect again. Hold up, give me a chance. Do I go for another protect? I think I attack this next turn. I need to probably like duty just wasting out all my sucker punches. Now we're just gonna attack with tire blast. No sucker punch. Hold up. Give me a chance. Yeah, he's thinking. They're thinking. They're like, yo, was he gonna protect again? <laughs> yo, give me a chance. Give me a chance. I got life orb. No! You sucker punch! Should have protected again. Should have protected again, but still, a lot of fun in today's video. We got one and two. Great set of matches. Showcases this team really well. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Slush Rush Sea Titan getting after it in today's video. We got one and two. Great battles all around. We do grab ourselves a loser record, but still, using an off meta team like this and winning at least one game is an accomplishment in itself. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.